What's up guys, welcome back or to the channel. If it's your first time stopping in, don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and make sure your post notifications are turned on. I'm back here working on her car as you saw in the beginning of the video. There was mold on the dash and the uh, center console. So I got all that off, which I'll show you here in a minute. And I was working on vacuum out back behind the seats um, where the third brake light is, getting all the dog hair off that. And next I'm gonna work on getting the seats put in, treating them. I'm about to vacuum the floor again because the one sh crappy thing about doing this outside because the, sh the garage isn't clean um, and in here there's no actual lighting so there just wasn't enough room and it didn't work out is the wind. Stuff's always blowing up so you have to do things three times. So I need that going into this. It is what it is. I need to get it done. So I'm going to get the seats back in, get them conditioned, get the floor uh, vacuumed again. Then I need to do the uh, floor mats and then I'm going to start working on detailing the outside. So. Stay tuned. Here you can see the inside. I got all the mold off. I'll show you the other side and I'll also show you back here. I got this all nice and vacuumed. No more dog hair. And you can see on this side where it's probably the worst on the center console, all gone. And up here on the dash, all gone as well. So like I said, I threw down a, uh, a towel just to try to keep it a little bit cleaner, which didn't help much. But I'm gonna work on getting the back seats in now, and then we'll get the front ones in and we'll get them conditioned. Jesus. So we've got the two front seats in as well. Right now we're working on uh, putting the leather conditioning on. We're just using this uh, Armor All Leather Care with beeswax. She's doing the dash right now and she's working on the front seats and I just went ahead and got the back seat all done. Looking real good, nice and clean and looking shiny. Now I'm gonna work on getting, I also did the door panels where there's leather right here too. But I'm gonna Armor All, uh, all the plastics and uh, around the door sill here too. And then next thing I'm gonna work on is washing the outside and then I'll come through and do all the door jams last. So I just got the first format done as you can see. Nice and clean. Looking like new again versus what it looked like before. Yikes. Not bad, it took me five minutes here uh, on the first one. So I'm gonna get the rest knocked out and we'll uh, get him thrown in the car. Much better. So I just got all the floor mats back in. It's all completely vacuumed out and ready to go on the inside. So now I'm gonna start working on the outside. As you can see, I already got the car sprayed down because there was a lot of pine needles and stuff on it from sitting before you got the cover put on it. But I'll go ahead and show you what I'm gonna use here. All right, so I got some bug and tar remover because we're definitely gonna need this for getting all the tar off the front of the car. And then of course, my favorite chemical guys, this is the honeydew, which is great if you're working with a foam can which I'm not gonna do today just because I don't wanna whip out the pressure washer. So I'm just gonna go with a bucket. I got the uh, grate in the bottom so that way all the stuff floats to the bottom below the grate so that way you're not washing with. Um, that way you're not getting stuff on the car then wiping it around and scratching the car up. So I always recommend throwing one of those in the bottom of the bucket. Then I got my uh, absorber towel from AutoZone to uh, make sure we don't get any water spots. Cause as you can see, it's, it's not a sham wow. Um, it's hard to tell now because I just wet it down, but there are quite a few water spots that I saw on the hood alone. So let's go ahead and uh, get it washed up though.
so I just got the car completely washed on the outside. And one thing that I was wondering, uh, the reason why it might have molded from sitting so long uh, and the moisture buildup on the inside was that the weather shipping was bad. And what I noticed when I was washing the car was, let's see if you can see here, it's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see like up there all the condensation on the windows. And you can really see it on the back window here. And also there's a little, it's starting to go away, but there's a little bit on this uh, back window right here too. So again, the car is 20 years old. It's 2001. So the paint's not perfect. You can see there's a little bit of sun damage on the wing here, which is common because it probably wasn't painted the best. Um, but it's probably gonna get wrapped or repainted here in the near future. And also we're gonna end up replacing all the weather shipping on that so that way it doesn't happen again. But for right now, I did put a, uh, damp rid. I'm gonna got, I have another one that I'm gonna end up putting in here too, but just threw this inside of here. Um, gonna put one in the front here and then also throw one in the back, but yeah, the f seats are all looking good as you can see here. Everything's back together. Back seat, all nice and clean, looking good. All right, well, I'm letting the car run for a little bit now because the battery was dead from it sitting for so long. So I'm gonna let that run for a little bit and uh, recharge the battery, maybe take it out for a spin because it's been sitting for a while. But um, we have a couple parts laying around for this thing too, so let me know if you guys wanna see more videos on this uh, on our car. We have an exhaust to do to it, and like I said, we need to do the weather stripping, uh, if this thing will focus, and some other stuff. Um, but it's been an eventful weekend, a lot of, a lot of time and uh, work put into this whole thing, but definitely worth it, it looks amazing way better than I've ever seen it. Um, and she was pretty excited because it, she said it looked like it did when she, when she bought it. So that's awesome, that's what I was going for. As long as she's happy, I'm happy. Sorry, I keep trying to get this lighting figured out because it's a little darker in there. But like I said, I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and possibly take it out for a little drive to run the fluids through it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, go down below and hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss an upload. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions and we'll get back to you and we'll see you in the next upload.